grill on, the lights on. wigwag box mounted. Uh, this wire calls to direct to the battery with a fuse so I scavenge that off of the truck put an eyelid on it and we'll hook it to that post right there later. Um, you can see my terminal is oozing glue. What I do is when I'm using these heat shrink butt connectors I will take the butt connector and ooze a little bit of dielectric grease in each terminal. Now what this calls for, what I did is I had about a 10 foot piece of trailer lighting, which is four wire, 14 gauge, which is plenty big because these are actually 18 gauge to the headlights. This is the feed to the high beam. Uh, what you have to do is you have to basically cut it. Run one back to the box, to the bulb, and one back to the box from the power in the truck and what that does is it basically switches it on and off to make the lights blink left light left right there is actually um, two relays or basically two five prong flashers in here that are uh, what they call an alternating flasher setup black wire to ground um, this is a good place for it it's, it's kind of out in the open um, just ran my black wire with an eyelet there to ground. Got my wires here close to the battery. That one's positive. Um, you know, the yellow and yellow and white go to one. The blue and blue and white go to another headlight. You'll have one for a parking light. I'm not sure which one it is. Um, I got it on my wiring diagram. You got one key switch and one, well actually not key switch, one is to the switch that turns the wigwags on and then you'll actually have one for low beams. So when you have the low beam lights on it um, basically lets you run all the beams at the same time so you, you're not losing a headlight when they flash on and off. Um, this is the wiring diagram right there. It's pretty, pretty self-explanatory step by step. It tells you if you've got a, a negative switched headlight, which means negative um, turns the headlight on and off, or actually the ground defines whether the headlight comes on. There's power to it all the time, and then a the ground defines on and off, which is basically how you wire a five-prong relay, as a matter of fact. Um, and actually, if you look at this, the wiring diagram is exactly the same for negative switched or positive switched lights. It's pretty simple. Um, so like I said, I had this four wire trailer. It's 18 gauge, or 16, and the wires, it's pretty thick wire. Um, I just split it in half. I used one for the left side, one for the right side. Obviously the right headlight's gonna need a lot more wire than the left headlight. And you just make sure you know, you diagram what you're doing and that way when you go to hook it up you can look at your paper and know what you've got wired. Um, this truck is taking a lot longer than expected for the simple fact that it was basically a fleet truck with no lights, no wiring, no switches, no nothing. So I'm basically having to install everything. The only thing I won't have to install is there's 110 volt work lights here that are in these boxes and they bolt here. Um, and this is 110 volt shore power actually, this, this one here. So that's what I'm doing for right now.